to our online King's Kids Church. Today is a special Christmas episode. We will be talking about the birth of Jesus and aside from that, we will worship the Lord together, we will dance, we will watch a special Christmas video, we will have also a power verse, and we will answer an anxiety quiz. But before anything else, what are we going to do, kids, when we pray? Yes, we will put our hands together, we will bow down our heads, and we will close our eyes. And you can repeat after me. Dear Papa God, we thank you for today. We thank you for the gift of life. And may you be with us as we listen to your word. We thank you for giving your son, Jesus, to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen! Yay! Always remember kids that Jesus is the reason for this season and He is the greatest gift that you could ever receive this Christmas. Have fun kids! Feliz Navidad! She was just an ordinary peasant girl, not born to a rich family. 
no one special. But God decided to bring His Son into the world through her. God sent His messenger to tell her the good news. One day, when Mary wasn't expecting it, something special happened. An angel appeared. Mary was very afraid. He said, don't be afraid. You have found favor with God. You are going to have a son, Jesus, the one God promised long ago to the people of Israel and to Abraham and to Adam and Eve. He will be called the Son of the Highest. He will bring God's promise to earth. Mary trusted God and believed. Sometime later, Caesar Augustus, king of the Romans, said that everyone must go to their hometown to be taxed. Bethlehem, Joseph's hometown, was far away. Mary and Joseph packed their things and set off to Bethlehem. Mary was almost ready to have her baby. When they finally made it to Bethlehem, it was very dark and they were very tired. People crowded everywhere. They looked and looked for a place to stay, but every inn was full. Finally, one innkeeper remembered an old stable out back. You're welcome to stay there if you want, he said, but it's not very nice. They had no choice. Mary was about to have her baby, so they gratefully accepted and followed the innkeeper to the stable. Finally, the time had come. God was going to send his son, the promised one, the one they've all been waiting for. And he couldn't keep the good news to himself. God decided to send his big choir of angels to tell his good news. But who to send him to? Oh, he had the perfect plan in mind. That night, out in the field, shepherds were watching their sheep. In those days, shepherds were nobodies. All they did was take care of dirty, dumb sheep. Not a very noble job. But God sees things differently than we do. And he chose these very shepherds to be the first ones to hear the good news. Suddenly, the brightest light appeared. The shepherds were very afraid. But the angel said, Don't be afraid. I have good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. Tonight, in David's town, in Bethlehem, in a stable, the Savior is born. He is wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And just as quickly as they had appeared, they were gone. The shepherds were amazed at what had happened. They left their sheep and raced to Bethlehem to find the young king. God left some signs in the sky so those who were looking for the new king could find him. He placed a bright new star that blazed in the sky like a spotlight. Shining down on his son, a tiny little baby in a dirty little stable on the edge of a little town called Bethlehem. God put it there to light up the darkness, to show the people the way to him. In the east were wise men who studied the stars. They saw this new star and knew it meant something great, that a great king had been born. So the wise men followed the star across the desert to Jerusalem. First, they went to sing King Herod. 
because kings are always born palaces, right? But when they told Herod about the star and the new king, he was very unhappy. The scribes told Herod that this new king would be born in Bethlehem. Because Herod was cunning, he said to the wise men, Tell me when you find the baby, so I can worship the new king with you. The wise men did not know that Herod was lying, but the Lord warned them in the dream of his deceitful plan. So, in a stable with the animals in the cold, quiet night, God gave the world his wonderful gift. The baby that would restore God's world was born, his own son, the promised one, Emmanuel. When the shepherds and wise men saw the baby, they bowed down to him and worshipped him. The wise men brought Jesus gifts fit for a king, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And Mary, his mother, pondered all these things in her heart. This little baby was the one God promised to the world to save us from our sins. He became the man, Jesus Christ, who spoke to us the words of God the Father. He then gave his life on a cross to wash away in his own blood the sins of the whole world. Jesus, the promised Savior, promised for you and your children, and your children's children. And everything that God promised and gave in Jesus Christ is now poured into this very moment for you. Matthew 1.21 B. Luke 6.10 
or C, Genesis 1.5. is Matthew 1 21 letter A <laughs> great job kids so that ends our quiz time bye bye happy birthday Jesus Jesus thank you for all blessings and protection and my family too. I love you! Yay! Yay! Happy birthday, Jesus. Thank you for my happy family. Thank you for celebrating us. I love you, Jesus. Bye-bye! Happy birthday, Jesus! Thank you for my family and friends. Thank you for good health and our vibes. Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Jesus! Thank you for your un thank you for everything. Thank you for your unfading love. Thank and the wish for our family. Thank you for blessing us good health, strength, and vitality. I love you. Jesus, thank you for saving me and for being my best friend. I love you, Jesus. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Jesus. Jesus, thank you for this beautiful day. And thank you for loving me and for the blessings. And thank you for this Christmas with my family. I love you, Jesus! Now kids, we learn that the true essence of Christmas is not about the gifts, the food, the family gatherings, or any celebration. We celebrate Christmas because we celebrate the birth of our Savior Jesus Christ. Now kids, this time, let's bow down our heads and close our eyes. And let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful day. Thank you for sending Jesus to save the world and become our hero. We thank you that we will celebrate the true essence of Christmas with our family and our relatives. Happy birthday, Jesus! We honor and we love you so much. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yay! Happy birthday, Jesus!